In this tutorial, we will learn how to create 2D drawing of a part. This is a spindle hub we created in SOLIDWORKS and you will see this section view. So let's create a simple drawing and we will learn how to create a 2D drawing for any parts in SOLIDWORKS. So once you create any part, just simply save it and go to file. Even though you can activate from here also, make drawing from part assembly, drop down the menu of file. Here you will find option called make drawing from part. Now here simply choose drawing, say OK. Now once you say OK, it will show you one sheet format size. There is a standard and at bottom customize sheet size. In standard, if you uncheck this box, only show standard format. See there are many formats, whatever format you like you can keep. Even though if you choose custom size format, here you simply you can select your uh, gives width and height and you can choose but it will be a simple blank page. There will be no designation, nothing, there is no edit block or anything option will be available. So simply activate standard sheet size, check this box only show standard format because I am going to select A3 size, say OK. Now even though here you will see right click on sheet go to properties and simply even though you can again change the size of sheet it's not a big deal even let's say you can change the ratio so let's keep I'll I'm going to change the ratio 1.5 is to 1 this is going to be our third angle and these are the labels apply changes now look now if you see here view palette spindle even you can browse part if not available simply from this. This is refresh and if you want to cancel, you can simply cancel it. Okay, let's, these are the views, all views. So let's create, drag one view. Now once you drag, it will give the option right, left, top, bottom. But in this case, we will keep only one, even let's say isometric view. So just drag, drop, press escape key to out or say yes, okay. If you want to see this is isometric view, simply I will choose display style, scale, let's say 1 is to 1, drag to the corner high quality, keep here also high quality, okay. Now in this condition, we have too many options we can do for this. Now if you go to drawing, you will see one option called projected view, simply click on the view and you can again apply projected view, but we don't need projected view, we need section view. <coughs> here select section view and here select continuous line. See this is vertical, so I am going to select the center one. Now here also once you click at center this will be pop up and you will see this there are many options but in this case we will simply make a section view to say yes. Now here see left, if you check this box left, right, left, right, if you unchecked even you can apply the name section A, B, C, something, whatever. If you put here, you can simply flick from here, see. That's it. Even though you can scale hatch, emphasize outline, we will see later on this. Partial section view, it, okay, this is not going to work. And see slice section view, it will show you only section view. So uncheck this, even we can import annotations and design, design annotations but we will keep as it is, okay. Now these are the view what we want to keep. So let's go to option smart dimension. If I am going to choose this outer one, now look, now we forget to add this is going to be if you want to change units, right bottom, IPS, look,
here go to ladder now here you will see option like style inside outside let's keep inside come at bottom custom text position if you see middle one see broken ladder horizontal text look this is how change again activate smart dimension now i am going to select this this one ladder inside because if you choose inside it will show a diameter from end to end text horizontal say okay now you can adjust according to your need there is one option called whole call out i am going to choose this one now in this case there are many holes the first throughout point 2 let me check point 3 see 0.281 through all here also the next one continues decimal point 3 and the last one counter depth okay it's no need to more even one more thing if you want to remove this line simply select the ladder and here you will find one option called on one arrow open ladder click and see it is open ladder you you won't see any arrow so it makes your drawing clean if you click come down okay go to other here one option called layer click format format layer i think black color see black color is selected six number of counter bore holes these are the counter bore holes see the dimensions and everything six number of holes okay this one we created even though if you right click add view label okay here let's add section view uh this is actually top view now let's check which view we selected this is front view scale 1.5 is to 1 if you double click you will see this option you can increase width and height for everything look okay let's come to this if you want to add drawing there are many options let's say base dimension i am going to choose one line okay then let's define the all line 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 look say okay this is also beautifully designed center line i'll click this edge and select at center and there will be a line similarly i am going to select this one and center there is a line say okay these lines are unnecessary delete it look now let's activate is even though if you don't like this there is one more option delete it horizontal coordinate dimension ordinate dimension this is very important and this is very beautiful select the first reference point drag something like okay let's see here now select the second point third point fourth point sixth point seventh eighth ninth 
Now here you will see all dimensions are select all dimensions go to ladder and here you will see witness ladder display uncheck chain change here simple line ok. Now look. Zero point eight. Even though let's select all decimal point three. Okay. Now see one point seven five two two point two five. Okay. These are the point one two five. So you will get a clear view. Okay. Let's do some more smart dimension. Let's add a smaller dimension first. Second this and third the outer one ok let us do for third let us say 3 decimal because this is 3 decimal point even though there is one more option bilateral tolerance look here decimal point for tolerance either you can choose 3 decimal or same as nominal. 0 0.0002 inch say ok look if you do not have place simply you can adjust this custom let us say I am going to add adjust in upper side because if you difficult to see the dimension lower side. But I think this is better to keep here so that uh, we will get a better view. Even though this one also we can ok let us simply add this side also point 0.3 now here we are going to add tolerance bilateral same as nominal and this time we will add in minus side 0 0.0002 ok. Now look here three decimal even though you can see uh, allow to this also to be precise and clear view. Let us choose note R5 now there is one more thing right click toolbar and here one option called line format ok now you will see with the help of this line format you can change the color let us say color if I want to change all this color, color black ok, look these all are black color. If you want to change something whatever color green ok, that is it. Note, simply activate note tool and press anywhere and you can drag and here you can write your note only 
let us say all dimensions are in millimeters then remove all bar 3 material is steel a i s i 1020 now even though you can select all change the height width of this thickness make thick let's change color okay look thickness not seems good so uncheck the bold okay now look the note is created now here at bottom comes and you will see right click edit sheet format now here already the name of selected spindle you, you can say bold and uh, you can apply some color color to it like okay now if you move cursor at center here you can say part number or name whatever you want where we have part number for this so 051109 let's keep color red okay activate note tool and even if you anything you want to write simply write here cat cam tutorial just select change the size 20 bold color blue okay say okay to note and you can adjust okay now material if you keep cursor near you will one option there edit option simply click steel a i s i 1020 in similar way you can increase the okay now here name drawn by if you direct double click and here you can write the name of drawing okay drawn by check by whatever all the things you can apply finish let's say polish finish let's make bigger okay now see you can add whatever required dimension in information in this sheet format tool and exit to sheet format and see okay if you want to change the if you want to print this one uh, do one thing just change the thickness for this go to option document property line and uh, let us say solid this one and here hatch 0 0.0138 inch say ok now look if you want to change color select this section view edit color blue ok look the color is changed so this is the simple way you can edit or change your create a 2d drawing in solidworks i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching